I've logged a lot of time. You know, I've played in a lot of games. I've, like I said, had a lot of different offensive coordinators. Had Joe Flacco my first year, had Teddy Bridgewater the second year, and you know, I've got to learn from a lot of guys. And um, I think it's definitely helped me be the quarterback I am now. Okay, off the field, you've said in the past that you hate phonies. Um, and you know, you, you kind of, I think, pride yourself on being a genuine guy. Yeah. Can you explain the I hate phonies kind of uh, approach? Well, for one, I think if you're a phony, um, it's going to be hard coming into the office every single day and having to put that act up, you know, 24 7. Then you're not yourself. Then you start getting in your head about certain things. Oh, well, did I keep my act up today? Did I not? No, just, just be yourself. We'll come out here. We'll have fun playing the game that we've loved playing for our whole entire life. And um, that's kind of where the phony thing comes in. All right, I might dance a little bit. I might mess around, you know, but that's just me, man. Like we started playing this when we were, you know, five or six years old. And sometimes I might act like that if we score a touchdown. <laughs> yeah, well, I've seen that in, in the NFL films. I've seen that in your Broncos uniform and they caught you on the bench uh, doing yeah. some rapping. Like, do you regret doing that on the bench? Cause now it just lives forever. It's definitely gonna live forever. <laughs> I can't go anywhere without someone knowing that I did that. Um, no, I don't regret it at all. Um, Again, it was, that was not planned. Uh, I did not know the camera was on me, and you were just seeing a little bit of who I am, yeah. yeah. Okay, do you know who the Mad Fanatic is? The Mad Fanatic? You know, the guy was that, that uh, rapped a song about yeah, the Denver. Drew Locke song? Yeah, I saw it, I saw <laughs> okay, it. Okay, so when, so when that came out, uh, what'd you think of it anyway? I mean, he probably got some inspiration from me rapping on the sideline. I thought it was cool. Um, you know, having my first song made about me, I guess, is a pretty cool thing. Um, but you listened to it, it's pretty good. Yeah, I had to listen like he, to it. A you couple know, he times. obviously did some research on you when he's putting the lyrics out there. I wasn't, I wasn't going to let it, you know, not go and listen to. So, yeah, it was good. It was good. I appreciated it. If you like golf, you like to fish. Of course. Have you had much of a chance to, I mean, you're coming from Denver clearly outdoors country. Yeah. How about here? You had much to do any of that and, and maybe fishing? You know, I've been stuck with trying to move in, um, get my life in order outside of football, but I'm actually going to go golfing and letting Will Disley decide the course. He asked me where I wanted to play. and I'm like, Will, how long do you think I've been here? Like, I don't know the names of the courses out here. You tell me where we're playing. Is he good, you think? Is this just a, fun, a friendly deal? It'll be, uh, no, it won't be friendly. We'll, we'll, we'll definitely have, um, some motivation behind playing well that day, I'm sure, but uh, I'll try to go in and bury him. What's your uh, handicap? Play enough to have a handicap? I would say on a good day, probably like a 10 or a yeah. nine, and then like on a bad day, shoot, it can go anywhere. For more local news coverage, live and on demand, watch King 5 Plus. Download free on Roku and Fire TV.